What's up guys, it's me back again for another video. Today I'll be reviewing the ECW Unreleased Volume 2. As you can see right there, I got this uh, this past Tuesday, but I know it was released uh, last two weeks ago almost. So yeah, there we go. Here we go. ECW logo on the background. We got uh, Taz and Sabu. Taz doing the uh, Taz suplex on uh, Sabu. Unreleased Volume 2. Just set. Uh, this is how it's gonna look on your shelf. This is the back with Raw Van Dam, Rhino. All right. Dig even deeper into the extreme section of the video vault with the heart and soul of ECW Tommy Dreamer as he joins host Joey Styles to present a new collection of ECW classics never before seen on home video. ECW Unreleased Volume 2 delivers over 7 hours of extreme action that fans continue to demand. Witness the first ever ECW match between Dreamer and fellow ECW original Taz. See an early slugfest between two legends destined for the WWE Hall of Fame, Mick Foley and Terry Funk. Hold on to the edge of your seat for aerial warfare between Chris Jericho and the human highlight reel Sabu. Pause to read, hopefully. Then, uh, plus, experience ECW's wide ranging mix of styles from Japanese, Mexican, Lucha Libre, Extreme, Three Way Dances, Tag Team Action, and of course, matches from the ECW Television Championship, ECW World Cha Heavyweight Championship, and more. Over 20 matches. And then the matches are right there. This is TV 14 and goes for 7.5 hours. Nice cover artwork right there. When you open it up, it says ECW right there. You got unreleased with your jury. One behind this one, we got. There you go. Yeah, you could read that. All the uh, link, well, all the uh, matches will be down below. On this one, I really like the uh, I Quit match. Uh, hardcore TV right there. And then uh, yeah, I Quit match. Then I like the uh, Wrestlepalooza, August five, nineteen ninety five match between Eddie Guerrero and the Steiner Brothers. This is Two Cold Scorpio, D Malingo, and Cactus Jack. Really like that. And then. Yeah, that's pretty... M oh, no, wait. What else? And the Public Enemy versus the gang Gangsters. I really like that match. Those matches from this one. Alright. We go from this two. Um, a good idea. Oh, you, well, you could read it right there. Uh, Jericho versus Taz was a uh, alright match. We really liked it. It was okay. Uh, Two Cold Scorpio vs. Shane Douglas, ECW Television Championship match. It was good. And then the tag team match matchups here. Three Way Dance for ECW World Tag Team Champions, the Eliminators vs. the Gangsters vs. the Dullies. That was a good match. I really enjoyed that match. This uh, 1 and 2 have like less matches, but this 3 has like the most matches. Real heat. Uh, in my opinion, um, this three is probably the best match wise. Alright, we got that. A real clash of styles. ECW Arena, Sabu vs. Taz vs. Bang Bang Bigelow for the three way dance for the FTW World Title. Really, uh, that was a good one. It was a three way dance, uh, as known as a triple threat match. We really liked it. We got the, uh, oh, I really like the Lucha Libra style ones, um, November to remember, November 799, Extreme 3-Way Dance, Joshiro, Tajiri vs. Jerry Lynn vs. Super Crazy, it was a great match, we liked it. Then we got some ECW on T, and then, um, Rob Van Dam vs. Mikey Whipwreck for the ECW World Television Championship, then, uh, Three Way Dance for the ECW World Championship. Just incredible versus Jerry Lynn versus uh, Steve Corino.
and then end of an era. We've we probably seen a lot at end of an era. One three just sets look at the end where it says. Um there's a chance we might get volume three and heck, maybe even volume four. Like Joey Styles and uh he said hinted with the uh Tommy Dreamer. Uh definitely a better set. Um, against the first one, the unreleased volume one, I don't have that one, but it's definitely, I've seen it, it's definitely, mm, this one's better, it, it's the, it's, uh, as great as the first one, maybe even better, I really liked it, uh, if you're a diehard ECW fan, get it, uh, I just got it because, uh, I really needed to get this, probably, I don't know, but get it, um, it's a good DVD, but, uh, I wasn't really digging it a lot, but it was good for what it was. Um, yeah, so pick it up. Um, the next review I'm going to be doing will be the Money in the Bank 2014. And I think after this year, I'm just going to get DVDs I would like to get. Not like uh, this. If last year you would have told me if I would have uh, get this, I, I would say no. Because basically I only get WrestleManias and uh, documentaries I like, you know. But never match compila compilation, so yeah. But anyways, get your ECW Unreleased Volume 2 now in stores. Pick it up. This has been one of my reviews. Peace.